good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we do have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 15. I swear to Jesus, it seems like we've done a hundred of these so very quickly, like rapid fire. Like every three or four days, it seems we're getting a new episode out. But there's so many ideas that I get in my head, and then I'm just wanting to push them out to you guys. So um, I hope you guys don't mind. You guys do like this series and everything, but I'm trying not to oversaturate it. However, I mean, these ideas, like I said, just keep coming to my head, and I feel bad continuing to push this series but again it just keeps ideas keep popping in my head and I was working on those custom Finn Balors and everything so the idea for uh, one of the figures we're gonna work on here today is uh, because of Finn Balor so we are gonna be doing a fix up custom Finn Balor but it is gonna come at the hands of one of my favorite customs in my collection so it's gonna be very disappointing at the same time as being epic but we are gonna be doing a couple head swaps we're gonna be doing some customization I'm gonna paint something up in black and then we are going to be switching around that Finn Balor and we're gonna make a fix up Finn Balor but anyways guys let's go ahead and get into what we're gonna be doing here today so the figure that I'm going to be breaking down guys is my beautiful BEW custom Neville you guys can see I got this back way way long ago you know uh, way before he left WWE when he was on top of the world um, I got this like literally probably four or five months into my channel I think he was on one of the earliest episodes of my damn halls I got it from BEW I had an idea I sent him one of the NXT basic head scans or something like that and I said uh, bro can you make this like a pissed off heel Neville with a long beard and by God did he deliver and it's a beautiful head scan and this this figure has been so good to me I love it so much he competed at MDT money in the bank in this attire and I really do love this Neville but we're gonna be breaking him down here today but I will not lose this head scan because we're going to be putting this angry head scan onto the Elite 55 Neville. And the Elite 55 Neville is really strong. I mean, it's really good. I have two or three of these in my collection. And I cannot let this beautiful head scan go to waste. So we're going to be popping it over here on the Elite 55 Neville. Yes, this isn't a white attire or anything, but it's still going to be fresh. And I think it'll make the figure look good. Maybe down the line we can switch the biceps or get some custom arms or something. I don't know. I like the way my builded one over here looks. You guys can see what it looks like with the t-shirt off. Um, this is a custom made t-shirt. I made that logo myself. I just figured it fit Neville so well. It's like a king with like a beard and a skull. I just thought it was so sick. But you guys can see the torso here. I like this torso much better for Neville. It just suits him better. Um, the bigger arms and everything. It's just better proportions for Neville. You know, Neville's a pretty massive dude. You guys can see. Look at the thigh difference. I mean, I just think that Mattel kind of uh, disrespects Neville a little bit like they do Finn Balor sometimes. But we are going to be do, uh, doing a head swap between these two figures. And then uh, that is not all we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking this Shane McMahon figure, the ringside exclusive. For some reason, I don't know. I feel like this head scan doesn't look enough like Shane. I feel like this one looks more like Shane or a younger Shane. I feel like this looks like 13-year-old Shane or something like that. But I think I'm going to pop this head scan over here. And then we're going to uh, paint up this hair black to make it solid black. And I think it'll look a lot better. So I think I'm going to pop the Elite 61 head scan, Shane McMahon, with the salt and pepper hair. going to paint that black over here. I think that'll make this figure look a lot better. We're going to be doing that. And then, of course, we're going to be taking a few parts here. Once we head swap this with the other Neville, we're going to pop the legs off, pop the arms off. And it's going to be a Frankenstein effort, but we're going to get there. We're, we're going to get there sooner or later. We're going to pop these legs onto uh, this body because, you know, it's got the white painted on there, like the, the tape behind the, uh, the, the knee pads there. We're going to switch these legs on there so that they're blank. We are going to then switch some white knee pads over there. We're going to swap these lower legs with CM Punk, and then we're going to be popping these white kick pads onto those legs, and then we'll take the bottom part of uh, these Neville kick pads, like the, the foot part, onto these. That way it will be a full white fix-up Finn Balor. So that's where Finn Balor comes in. We'll pop this head scan over there, and everything will be right. Everything will be, you know, uh, everything will be perfect. And then I guess uh, we got to put the Bo Dallas arms on there. And again, it's going to be a Frankenstein effort, but I think at the end, everything will be absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get started on our first swappage. All right, guys, so I guess the first thing we will do is heat up all four head scans. And I'm kind of scared of the custom head scan. You want to be careful heating up custom head scans because uh, if you break up, you know, if you heat up too long, the beard or whatever is sculpted, it can F it up and it can break it apart. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, I doubt that is long enough, but I guess we can go ahead and see. I'm very scared to pop this off again. I'm gonna pop it off from the back side. All right, we did get it off without any damage being done. I'm very excited about that. Let's see if we can pop off this Neville head scan. Ooh, it's kind of tight, sees. Oh, it's almost there, but I don't want to break it. All right, we got it. Now let's go ahead and pop this on. All right, that is, oh my God, no. Oh, bruh. That is what I was talking about. Look how effing sad. Look how effing sad this is. Look at this. The full beard fell off in one piece. Maybe I can glue that back or something. I don't know. That is upsetting AF. Oh my god, that makes me want to cry. One of my favorite figures in my collection. All for the sake of the head swap. Oh my god. Well, I mean, guys, what do you do? I mean, I, I, I guess we can continue. The surgery must go on, I guess. So I guess we can pop off Finn Balor's head if it'll actually come off. It does come off. Um, I guess we can go ahead and switch it over here. That is unfortunate, man. That makes me really, really sad. But somebody hit up BEW and tell him what happened here today. Um, and I'm going to have to get him to redo that, I guess. Or somebody. Because that is just so disappointing, bro. Good Lord Almighty. One of my favorite figures now gone. Finn Balor's head is swapped onto the Neville body. His proportions are obviously not right. But uh, golly, man, that makes me upset. That is just so terrible. Um, now Finn Balor is headless, but that's okay. We'll get another one some other day. Uh, let's see what Shane McMahon's got going on. I doubt it's still hot enough, or is it? All right, it's still hot enough, so there is that. Ringside exclusive head scan is gone. Now what we need to do is, I guess, go ahead and heat up the legs of this Finn Balor, the legs like this, and we will switch them out with these other Cody Rhodes legs. I think that's what these are. God, I'm still upset about that freaking beard popping off like that. Didn't I tell you it could happen, and it freaking happened, and it's just, I think it's just because it's old, too. It's old, and it's also, you know, uh, it got heated up. But there you go. There's the legs, and we're also going to heat up the Shane McMahon head scan, and hopefully we can get all of this at once and uh, continue from there. All right, guys, so since it's on ball joints, should be able to, yep, just pop it off just like so, as you guys can see. Very, very easy thing to do. I doubt the arms are heated up enough. Yeah, I'm not even going to risk it there, but you see here, you take this leg, you pop it over here like so, if it'll freaking go. All right, that popped on there, and then this one should pop on right here. And there we go. Now we have blank legs on Finn Balor looking pretty good. And now we go over to the ringside exclusive figure, pop this head scan on here. And there it is, it's ready to be painted on. We'll paint that up in just a few. Next up, what I guess we can do is go ahead and heat up uh, the arms of Finn Balor, like this, these Neville, these old Neville arms that are custom made. And then we'll go ahead and heat up these feet so we can you know, switch those feet onto our white kick pads up here. And I guess while we're at it, we can go ahead and heat up the arms of Bo Dallas, I guess, or... Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and do that, too. So we'll just heat up all of this at once. All right, guys, first off, we'll go ahead and pop Bo Dallas's arms off if we can. All right, there's the right arm. Or the left arm, my bad. There's the right arm. Stupid idiot moron. All right, now the big arms off Balor. Got those. And the other one. So we got those off. Putting the Bo Dallas arms over on Finn. Just like that. So that is good to go. Now the next thing that we have to do is take these feet off of the, uh, of the Tyson Kid feet. Just like that, pop that off of there. Now we come over to our other kick pads, which are a different mold. Let's make sure we get the right and left one here. All right, this is the left one. Maybe I can get it on there in one go. If I can't, then uh, I'll do it off camera most likely. All right, I got the first one. Now I'll go to the second one. And that one was a lot easier for some reason, so I don't know why, but there is that. Our kick pads are complete. Now all we have to do is, I guess, switch out the, well, first of all, we have to pop off Bo Dallas's boots and get these knee pads off and then we'll have to I guess while we're doing that we can heat up the lower legs of the fin and the lower legs of the CM Punk that way we can uh, switch it all hopefully at once and uh, we won't have any problems there so let's go ahead and do that all 
All right, we'll see how this does here. All right, got that CM Punk leg. All right, got that. Go ahead and hold on to the peg because we're going to use it on the same Finn Balor leg or whatever. Um, this lower leg should be good enough. It is, so we got that out. Go ahead and use the peg again. Pop the peg out. So CM Punk is done with, I'm pretty sure. Going over to Bo Dallas. Pop his boot off. Other boot off. Now we pop the knee pad off. That is the left, then the right. So Bo Dallas is done there. Now all we have to do is pop off Finn Balor's lower legs here, just like so. And then what we have to do is attach these right here, and then we will, all we have to do is, well, we honestly need to pop. Is that gonna happen? That would be amazing. Oh my God, it did happen. So there you go, we got that off. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the other one off. I doubt it, but we'll see. It's worth a shot. Oh my God, it's so freaking close. And we got it, very nice. Did not expect that, but I highly doubt that they're hot enough now. So what I'm gonna have to do is heat this up. And I guess while I'm at it, I can go ahead and heat up the kick pads. That way we can uh, maybe pop those in there, pop the knee pads on and pop these on all in one fluid motion. Then we'll paint up our Shane and then we will be done with this episode of Action Figure Surgery. Well, I effing pushed him off the table here, but uh, let's see what we got. This is the left. Um, let's see if this will work. There we go. We got the first one. Dang, we'll get the second one, too. That was way easier than I expected it to. But uh, is this the left? All right, here's the left knee pad. Go ahead and slide this on. I highly doubt the kick pads will go on now. I feel like we've wasted a lot of time here, but we'll see. Get the right knee pad on, and then the kick pad. Did we get it? Okay, we got the first one. Is the second one going to go on the moment of truth here? And we got it. So Finn Balor is complete. We'll take a look at him uh, when we wrap everything up. But now I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and custom paint up our Shane McMahon head scan. And then we will be done with this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, so here is everything that we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Um, we had a just, oh my god guys, I can't get over that freaking Neville fail. I mean, just look at this bull crap right here. I cannot believe his freaking beard fell off. He looks like Sting now. Um, and it fell off all in one piece. That's what's just freaking insane. That really sucks. Uh, hopefully somebody can fix that for me. I may be able to fix it. But I'm really not looking forward to that. I really hate that that freaking beard fell off like that. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, Shane McMahon didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. You know, this head scan doesn't look as good as I thought with the black hair. I mean, I guess it's not bad. Um, it still looks like Shane McMahon, obviously. This is that Battle Pack head scan, but the, uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. I, I don't know. They're kind of even to me. This just looks weird. Um, this has the true effects. I think the eyes are better likeness to Shane or something, but I feel like my, my uh, maybe if I sealed it or something, it would look a lot better. I don't know. It just kind of looks like he's wearing a wig or something now. I don't know what's up with that, but Shane McMahon is there. And uh, I guess the most successful thing we had today is the all-white live event attire Finn Balor. I wish he would wear this on TV, but he does look fresh. I like the white. Um, I don't know if it was worth the, uh, you know, sacrifice in the Neville Heads game, but I still think it's a great figure. One thing that I will be doing uh, later on is switching these legs out with William Regal legs. I didn't have any of the appropriate size. You guys can see here if we compare the two, um, these thighs are more accurate for Finn Balor. Um, I guess these could work if you wanted them to. I just feel like the, the William Regal or the Finn Balor legs work better. You obviously can't just swap these, or I totally would. Um, you have to get William Re uh, Regal legs because these are on ball joints. You can pop them out and then pop them in just easily like that. So maybe we can do that on a future episode, but I think it still looks fresh. You guys know how I feel. White's my favorite color, and I'm all about the white attires. He has worn this. I think it was a live event at MSG or something last year. And I think it turned out very, very flames. I'm very excited for it. It will go up there with all the rest of the color, uh, custom ballers I've been working on this week. 
Um, you guys saw those yesterday, I think, or the day before, so you guys really like those as well. But uh, that pretty much does it for WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 15. I really, again, I really do love this. I think it's freaking super freaking flames fresh nasty farticles. Um, the rest, I, I don't know. I'm not really happy with it, but at least Finn Balor made up for it. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.